It was a terrible quarter for Bed Bath & Beyond and the home retailer. Also warning that the rest of the year is not going to be very pretty. If you heard this story before, it's because Bed Bath & Beyond did this back in April, warning that things were not looking particularly promising. Now the knee-jerk reaction when you see a prominent retailer like Bed Bath & Beyond giving a very poor outlook, you want to say, oh no, consumers aren't spending, this is a bad sign for the economy. But guess what? I think that would be the wrong argument here. Look at Williams-Sonoma. This is one of Bed Bath & Beyond's competitors. Its shares are up more than 20% year to date, near an all-time high. The earnings have been very strong, so have sales, obviously. Bed Bath & Beyond stock has fallen more than 20% year to date. So this might be a case similar to something like Coach and Michael Kors, you know, Coach is doing poorly because of a competitor, not because the industry at large is suffering and consumers aren't spending. So don't get too worried about Bed Bath & Beyond from a macro level. Looks like there are company-specific problems. I hate to say it, I've vowed not to use this joke anymore, but it's just too much of a softball over the plate. Maybe Frank the Tank, only had time to go to Williams-Sonoma.